question for all of our witnesses. I'm going to ask you all to answer a couple of questions by show of hands. Make it easy. Mr. Leader, then I'm going to come to you with a couple of questions uh, specific to your experience. How many of our witnesses would say that left to their own devices, most employers would exploit or abuse their employees? Anybody say that? But the record showed no one has said or raised their hand. Uh, how many would, of our witnesses would say that most employers do not have the best interests of their workers in mind? The record show no one is raising their hand to that effect. How many would say that most employers do not want happy, satisfied, loyal employees? Anybody? How many would say that the government, or by extension, unions, <laughs> uh, must protect workers from their employers? Anybody would say that? Government or unions, actually, need to uh, protect workers from their employers. Or how many would say that employees are not equipped to competently choose for themselves whether or not to organize? Anybody say that? Employees can't make that decision for themselves? Let the record show none of our witnesses raised their hand in the affirmative that they believed any of those things. So now I'm going to turn my questions, at least to start here, to Mr. Leedy. Uh, you're from the free state of Florida, yes, and you I had am. a merit shop, as you called it. Could you please just tell us a little bit about how you treated your employees, I think you touched on this during your testimony, and your workplace culture to discourage or disincentivize or diminish the desire for your employees to unionize? First of all, our employees are family. And I think that's very important. As I said before, I need, that, I need those people to answer the phone at 2 o'clock in the morning. And like any other company and all the other electrical contractors in our association, we pay great wages with great benefits, including 401s and vacations, holidays, and a lot of extra things, paid time off. And uh, we customize, we're able to customize our deals with our, with our team. For instance, I had a, a person named Ed, and he was an uh, umpire in the Big Ten uh, football, and so every Saturday he's going to Ann Arbor or Columbus to referee a football game, and he needed Fridays off. And I said, hey, I'll, you, I'll let you work four tens, and he said, nah, four eights is good enough. I, you know, I get a pretty good check on the weekend. So my point is we, we customize our agreements with our people, and uh, you know, we have to keep them happy or they're going to go somewhere else. Simple as that. What was your, what's been your experience in terms of longevity, loyalty, your average employee, how long they stayed with the company? Oh, I've got people way over 10 years. Uh, I've got several guys uh, uh, coming up on 10 years. So, uh, yeah, maintaining your workforce is critically important, especially in, in today's market. Well, you might be familiar, I've got a bill, my Small Business Before Bureaucrats Act, which would update the jurisdictional limits of the mm -hmm. NLRB, increasing by tenfold the revenue threshold for which small businesses would have to suffer under the control of the NLRB, and it would rescue about half of those businesses currently suffering under that control. Can you just speak to, based on your experience, any positive impact that you could see that less NLRB oversight would have on small businesses? Well, again, I, I don't know much about the NLRB, I'll be honest. You know, I've, I've heard stories. We've had issues uh, with some of our members. One of our members came up here because uh, the business agent came into his office uh, to fill out an application, and he knew him, and he told him to get out, and wow, that was a mistake. So. Well, I, I don't know a lot about the NLRB. Well, setting you know, aside the NLRB, how about just federal regulations generally? The federal government says, hey, we're here to help you. We're here no, to help you're you. Not. No, uh, you're could not. you speak to how uh, more or less federal regulation helps a business ability to operate effectively and profitably? I, I agree with President Reagan. You know, I'm here from the federal government and I'm here to help. You know, holy cow. Uh, all of these new measures and things that come at us continuously it just you know causes excess overburden on uh, time and money in our in every business every business so would you agree that uh, the, the less the government particularly the federal government interferes or intrudes or imposes themselves into your business the, the more Abs harm that it does and the more difficult it is for you to absolutely i'm a free market guy 
Well, thank you for your testimony today, and thank you to all of our witnesses.